Hello friends, and welcome to this video where we're going to have a talk about ways to be better. I have been seeing a lot of videos recently. They all have different names, but I feel like the, the content is very similar. And what it's kind of coming across as is how to read how people read um and it's really strange to see that be a thing that people um kind of question or talk about because being on booktube you would think that this is okay but the the thing that I, I think is confusing about this is that people aren't asking how to read. They're talking about basically how to do booktube. And as someone who has done booktube now for over five years, um, oh, six years, Jesus Christ, over six years, there is something to be said. And that is, you don't need to do what everybody's doing. Now, that might sound crazy. That might sound bizarre. But this whole thing is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be enjoyable. And if you are trying to keep up with people who could read three books a day, sometimes more, every day and that's all they do, you're going to be feeling like shit a lot of the time. Because not only is that kind of impossible for a lot of people, but it also hurts your comprehension. And yes, the more you read, the more books you will be able to read because it's like a muscle on the whole thing. But if you go in trying to do what you see other people doing your the comprehension that you're going to have of these books is going to suffer going into it with that the um, retention rate you're going to have is going to suffer because of that um so you have to really get to the point in yourself which is, do you even want to do this? Like, are you enjoying yourself? Are you enjoying these books? Are you having fun? Because if you're not doing any of those things, then what the fuck are you doing? Like, you could be, you could have a YouTube channel about making flapjacks, dude. And pancakes are fun, you know? I don't, I don't think you could ever be not fun making fucking pancakes, you know, and then eating them? Are you kidding me? Like, that's fun. So wh why are you doing this? The second thing, um, and over the years of being on BookTube, I have seen this come up um, a few different times where people complain about book haul videos because they think book haul videos make them feel bad because they can't afford the books that other people get. So all of this information has been done to death on BookTube, but because people are asking these questions now, I think it's time to bring it up again. First off, you don't need to do book haul videos all the time. And I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, book haul videos are the way to go, blah, 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 blah. You get so many views, blah, 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 blah. Book haul videos get good views immediately. And you will have more views with a book haul typically than any other video you have. But after doing this for six years and having book hauls be like a huge part of my channel, those videos do not get watched often because unless you are a fucking SEO master and you know how to like really con people into watching your videos, the 
after the immediacy of the video coming out, no one's going to watch that. If people are searching for a specific book and you coded with tags and the whole thing um, that that book would come up in your book haul video, people are going to see that book haul video in the fuck. They're going to be scrolling and it's going to say 45 minutes. And they're going to go, I'm not going to fucking watch 45 minutes of a goddamn fucking book haul just to find out about this book. Now, the reason why I'm bringing up people searching like that is because my book review videos, those do not get many hits right away. But those are the consistent videos that I have. So people watching... Um, like, I just did a review of this book today, Leaning Against Time by Neely, Neely Tchaikovsky. Whenever someone is going to Google this book, or this author even, that's going to come up on Google. Not even on YouTube, but on Google, okay? So, you will get people watching those videos over and over and over again. I think the most viewed video I have is on the Necronomicon. And um, I can't remember if that was an individual review or if I reviewed, like, three books. But, like, I don't know. But the video was called Necronomicon. I'm holding a picture of the Necronomicon, whatever. Um, but, like, those have... That video has more views than any book haul I've ever done. And I'm someone who does, or at least for the majority, would do at least one book haul a week, sometimes more, if I was hitting a bunch of different stores. Because I would do my book hauls from this shop, and then from this shop, and then from this shop. Another thing is, um, when you are reviewing the same books that everyone else on BookTube is reviewing, so this goes to the people who are kind of focused on new content, when you are reviewing those books, those books are going to get even less hits, or those videos are going to get even less hits, because so many people are doing videos on those books. So, um, eventually, you might get a lot of hits on that, but um, you're going to notice, like, right off the bat, when you put the video up, you're like, what the fuck? Like, so-and-so has 500 views of their review of this book. And they just put their video up last week. I put my review of it up and I only have 30 views. What the fuck? What gives? It's because that book has been played out and most people on BookTube already saw the review. And once they've seen a review, unless they really respect your opinion, they're not going to watch another review of the same book just to see what you think about it. Now, I know people are like, well, people always like read multiple reviews of books. They do. They read multiple reviews of books under Goodreads or on Amazon or something. But are people going to sit through multiple 10 minute plus videos of people talking about if a book is good or not? After the first video, they probably already made up their mind if they're going to do that. The biggest lesson I learned from BookTube is that I don't like a lot of books. Okay. That might sound strange, but what BookTube has taught me is I've seen lots of books that sounded good, and then I got those books, paid money for those books, read those books, and didn't like those books, and then what did that do? It made me mad, and so then I started getting angry and fed up, and when you go on a string like that where you read a bunch of books that aren't very good... Especially if people are telling you that this is a really good book. When you read that book and it's not good and it didn't click for you, it makes you feel like you're going crazy. You're like, how are all these people liking this book and I'm hating it? I don't get it. <clears throat> it's because we are all individuals. We are all unique. Our life experiences have shaped us into who we are and what we're about and the whole thing. So you're going to like certain stuff, but that doesn't mean you have to like everything. Not every book was written for every person, you know? And I mean, there are people on BookTube who have no problem reading a book they absolutely dislike and they absolutely hate, and they will read the whole book 
just so they could give it a full review. If that's what you like to do, then do that thing. But if you're reading a bunch of books and the books fucking suck, and it's like making you not want to read anymore, stop reading the shitty books and read something you like. I have a ton of books that I go to as palate cleansers after I read something that isn't very good. And I read that, and I'm happy about reading it, and then I fucking go on. And honestly, I'm getting to the point now where all I want to do is make more videos of books that I've already made videos of because they're that good. So, you know, there there is no right or wrong way to do anything. I, I saw somebody... Oh, I can't remember who it was now because there were a couple videos about this too about the wrong way and the right way to booktube I don't really think there's a wrong or right way to do it like just fucking do you do what makes you happy do what you enjoy this is your fucking channel this is your fucking platform on YouTube this is your little corner of real estate so do what the fuck you want with it you know like Shit, if you want to fucking review War and Peace over and over and over again until, like, you're wanting to fucking vomit and then make pancake videos, fucking do that thing. Nobody cares. Like, your subscribers, if they like you, will like the shit that you do. I was really on the fence about doing more poetry videos because poetry... Okay, I know this is going to shock everyone in the room here, but poetry is not popular, okay? It's not a popular topic. And probably the way I talk about poetry is even less popular of a topic. I thought for sure that I was going to lose a bunch of subscribers if I continued to talk about poetry. And um, so to check this, I was going to scientifically determine how this worked. So I did a bunch of videos on poetry and I looked at my sub count. And over the next two weeks with me doing steady poetry videos, I lost seven subscribers, just seven. So I was like, at first I was like, oh man, everything's over, I've lost seven subs. But then I was thinking about it and I'm like, seven is very small compared to how many subscribers I have. That's, that's like a drop in the bucket. That's not that bad. And since then, I've gained seven subscribers back. Maybe they came back. Maybe they missed me. Maybe they missed the sound of my voice. And they said, you know what? I don't care what Matt's talking about. He is fun to listen to. And I like the cut of his jib. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. There are some people who talk about, who, who will make videos and say, don't ever look at your analytics, it'll just drive you crazy. And then there's other people who are like, you have to look at your analytics so you know what's working and you know what's not. Do whatever you want. Who fucking cares? I am giving you permission to do whatever the fuck you want with your YouTube channel, with your booktube channel, with your poop tube channel. We don't care what you're doing as long as you're enjoying yourself and having a good time. That's it. There are tons of different ways to do it. There are tons of ways to destroy your channel. And there's tons of ways to have a great success with your channel. But do whatever feels good. And if you're reading a lot and you're enjoying it, good. If doing BookTube has made you read more and you're really enjoying the stuff that you're reading, then this is a perfect place for you. If you're reading more because you're trying to compare yourself to other BookTubers, stop. You don't have to stop your channel, but stop reading shit you don't like. Stop reading shit that makes you fucking hate reading. Read something good. Read something you like. And who fucking cares? And you don't have to like be like the Joneses and copy everyone's videos. Um, there's tons of people who have been on BookTube for a long time, some longer than me. Sometimes they come, sometimes they go. And um, the ones who stick around, stick around, and it's fine. It's just, it's whatever. So just feel good about yourself. Feel good that you're fucking reading. And if you're worried about doing book hauls because you can't afford doing book hauls, 
you can go to the library, check out a bunch of library books. I know there's people out there who don't like reading library books for some fucking reason. Who gives a shit? Go to thrift stores, buy a bunch of books there. Oh, but those books are like the books from the library, except now they're from a thrift store. Who fucking cares? Secondhand shops, fine. Um, pirate ebooks, I don't give a shit. Go on fucking Amazon and just get all the um, free books that week. Okay, do that. Um, you can fucking, you could join one of those um, things. I'm sure someone's done videos on it where you get um, advanced reader copies um, and you're going to do a review of the book if you want to do things like that. There are a million ways to get books that you don't have to pay for. Shit, you could do all public domain books. You could go to like Gutenberg dot org or um, archive dot org or all sorts of places like that and find tons of books that, and you will never have to spend a cent on books okay like you could do a million things and well i can't put the the picture of the book uh, like i i like it when i could go like this if if that's what it is then you're gonna have to go get library books or you're gonna have to buy stuff from secondhand shops or you could just put pictures up of the book that you read. It doesn't matter, okay? Just feel good about it, enjoy what you're doing, and if you're not, then fucking walk off. And, I don't know, like, watch TV. Um, get some ice cream, just kinda hang out, call a friend, do things like that. But this is supposed to be a happy thing, this is supposed to feel good, and as long as you're enjoying yourself, that's all that matters. So if you have any questions about anything, let me know down below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.